GM1G Sports TV back with another one post fight review of Jaime Mugia and Spike O'Sullivan, aka Soda Papimsky from Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I don't know, he just reminds me of that motherfucker. But listen, man, let me get this call a spade a spade, all right? Jaime beat Spike O'Sullivan because Spike O'Sullivan, aka Soda Papimsky, was tired. He wasn't hurt, he was tired, he was fatigued. That's why he won. Number two, that boy ain't ready. Jaime ain't ready for 160. He ain't ready for the top dogs. He ain't ready for Demetrius Andrade. He ain't ready for Triple G. He ain't ready for, definitely ain't ready for Canelo. <laughs> Jamal Charlo. You know what I'm saying? He ain't ready for even like the number one contenders. You know what I'm saying? In, 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 in division. He ain't, he ain't ready. You know, his defense ain't, I don't care about his offense. He still is the same, you know, come forward guy. He'll, he'll load up on shots. You know what I'm saying? He'll, uh, take four shots to get his one shot off and he fought a guy this is basically a sitting duck you know spike o'sullivan he likes to come forward you know just basically block punches with his face you know what i'm saying and trade shots that's what he's known for you know anybody else any of these top guys in, in 160 would have stopped you know spike o'sullivan within three rounds you know what I'm saying? The only reason why he basically won the fight, uh, Jaime Mugia, like I said, was the fact that Spike O'Sullivan was tired. That's it. Bottom line. But like I said, man, he ain't ready. He not ready. Um, and, you know, he's, once he fights again this year, looks like triple, looks like, um, I think the, I think a good matchup, even though he'll lose, is try to get Triple G. Triple G is 37 years old, okay? He's super old. And I think he's on a decline. But even a, on a decline version, right, of Triple G can beat Jaime Mugia. But i like to see him face uh, Triple G next. But because of the fact that he's a WBO interim title holder, most likely he'll be facing somebody in the WBO uh, rankings, right? I don't know too much about this guy right here. Um, Anna Lantis Fox. All these uh, top contenders, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not even gonna mention Andrade because he'll uh, Andrade will wipe the floor with Hamil Gia. He'll wipe the floor. I'm just talking about the contenders and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, he's so basically, Hamil Gia is an interim title. He's not the main champion. That's what. That's why boxing is so confusing. Andrade is still the WBO champ. Okay, Jaime is the interim champ. There's another title, but it's beneath what Andrade has. Okay, that's that. That's just you know more sanctioning body, more confusion within boxing. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. You know Jaime got the victory. Um, I, I give his performance a four out of ten. You know what I'm saying? Ain't really changed nothing. Try to try to you know work off the jab, but eventually he went back to his old habits by trying to you know load up on on shots on power shots and they get caught in between when Spike was in the first six rounds. You had Spike just wobble, molly wobble, Jaime Mugia before the round ended. Who knows if, you know, if that round would continue, he would have dropped Jaime Mugia. So imagine what a Triple G would do, you know what I'm saying, with a power shot like that against Jaime Mugia. Imagine what an Andrade would do, because he's more accurate. You know, I'm not starting to even talk about Canelo, you know what I'm saying? Jamal Charlo with the power that he got. Imagine what he'll do. You know what I'm saying? So, but it is what it is, man. Um, on to the next. Uh, we'll see what we got up in store with uh, with Jaime. Uh, I think they'll just most likely protect this guy and try to, you know, make sure that uh, he'll have some safe fights. They're not gonna get this guy. In, in, in. He's he's too green. He's only 22 years old. Most of his fights were in Mexico with 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 low level Mexican drug dealer operations. <laughs> out there fighting drug cartel uh offsprings and all that back in mexico <laughs> you know what i'm saying and, and, and now he's up the level of competition by, by fighting the spike o'sullivan's of the world moving to 160. but it is what it is family you already know what it is make sure you like comment and subscribe gmog sports tv all right family until next time signing out peace